Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to Coding with Shihab. Now we are solving Codility for Programmers and we already completed lesson 1 iterations, lesson 2 arrays, lesson 3 time complexity, lesson 4 counting elements. Today we will start prefix sum and there are some inside the lesson 5 we have four problem first one is count compute number of integer divisible by k in range a to b count division and then at first we are going to open it let's read what is the problem statement at first try to understand the problem statement what they want from us what we have to solve okay write a function class solution public int solution 3 integer value integer value a integer value b integer value k that given three integers a b and k returns the number of integers within the range a to b that are divisible by k divided by k how you are feeling flexible you can say for an example to understand more clearly they use example for a equal to 6 b equal to 11 and k equal to 2 your function should return 3 because there are 3 numbers divisible by 2 within the range 6 to 11 namely 6 8 and 10 10 is smaller than 11 and we should start from 6 6 to 11 how many numbers it will be divisible by 2 and when we will divide it by 2, the result will be 0 without any fraction number. So, I hope everyone is clear what we have to do. We should find out the number which will be divisible by or divided by 2 and without any fraction. And we can define the two integer value. One is A integer value, another one is B integer value. And for testing purpose, they already defined two below 6 and 11. Let's try to solve it. We will try to discuss line by line, then it will be more effective for us. We should count the divisible number. Return the function should return 3. That means how many number are divisible by 2 inside this range. This is A, this is B. Okay, then we need one integer and the rules is A divided by k to b divided by k according to the rules now i will check if a divided by k equal to 0 and b divided by k equal to 0 and then we should count the numbers and we should return 
another round let's see is it satisfied our requirement or not ah yes we should write is it fulfill our requirement Yeah, now it's okay because B is bigger than A. So we have to check this. And at first, we will try to count from the 11 after that down, down. And it's work fine with our testing example. Example test, it's work properly, but we have to check this solution is fulfilled all the condition or not a and b are integer within the range this k is an integer within the range this and a is smaller than or equal to b this is the logic okay that's why a should be smaller than b let's see try to submit what is our score I hope we solve it according to the rules and statement. Our score is 87%, performance is 100%, correctness is 75%. Verify handling of range in point multiple run okay got three expected two okay let's use one line solution now i will use ternary operator to solve the same problem A multiplied by k equal to zero and let's see is it working or not We did same thing for counting when uh, we use first solution. We also define those things inside the count and later inside the if statement we use this condition and according to the ternary operator, if percentage is zero then one and for B also same way. Let's try what is the output about this solution.
yeah it's fulfill all the requirement according to the ternary operator that's why we got 100 and time complexity of big o one that means constant time complexity that means it's faster so everyone thank you very much see you next video take care bye